As President Biden's trip to the region's wrapping up, the cleanup has really never stopped in many communities in eastern Kentucky. Schools and community centers have become those relief areas, and to ensure that there are basic necessities available to those impacted, that work continues. And that's certainly the case in Neon, Kentucky, where we find Ansley Daniel. Ansley, the latest on that town, which was absolutely decimated. Josh, you are absolutely right. Fleming Neon Middle School has been turned into a distribution site here. This is one of the hardest areas in Alexander County, but town leadership tell me that they are working together to make sure that everyone impacted is cared for. Okay, so we're running the medical clinic and then we're trying to help people sign up for FEMA. We're also coordinating uh, ATV efforts out in the community, so they're coming here. Volunteer coordinators sent out 30 SUVs full of supplies to people across Neon. We covered about 500 families and we were able to make sure we went to the very ends of the haulers and worked our way down to make sure and we found people living under trees and in their vehicles, under the porches, um, that the haulers were washed out and nobody had been able to get to them yet. While the community is coming together, city officials are working with FEMA, the mayor taking assessors to city-owned property on Monday. That helps us get our, get our, our FEMA money and things in here to rebuild our city. The process to get the funds is expected to take some time. We can't speed their process up, but we hope that it won't be as long as what we've heard or whatever, what people think, th are thinking, but I'm, I'm, talk I'm talking to them every day. The mayor tells us that it is hard to determine what is next for this town, but she says her first priority is removing debris before building back. Live in Neon, Kentucky, Ansley Daniel, News Channel 11. Incredible what the town of Neon has had to go through. Um, Ansley, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Now, News Channel 11 and ABC Tri-Cities, along with our parent company, are trying to help. We're partnering with a nonprofit organization that serves the region, and you can help us help them. So just open the camera app on your phone and just point your phone at that QR code there on your screen, and it will send you to a link so you can donate to the Christian Appalachian Project. And we've got the link as well on WJHL.com.